The race for the future of humanoid robots has just heated up and two totally different machines have just been revealed showing the two opposite paths technology is taking. In this video, you'll understand exactly what these two futures are. One where the robot is a realistic companion with synthetic skin and another where it's a avatar that learns by copying your movements. And as a bonus, I'll also tell you the truth behind that viral story of the robot kidnapping. I know what you might be thinking. Oh, great, another robot video that looks cool, but it's just marketing and will never leave the lab. But that's where the catch is. I analyze the strategy behind each one. And what they're doing is less about the robot itself and more about a bet on how we will live with them in the near future. And you need to understand this now because the dispute to see which idea wins, the robot friend or the robot tool is defining who will dominate this billion dollar market. Let's dive into it. Just from the start, which idea grabs your attention more? A robot that looks like a real person or a robot that becomes a perfect extension of your body? Leave your first impression in the comments. I want to see which side is winning before I show everything. Let's start with the robot that's getting the most buzz. There's a very big company already famous for making electric cars and even some flying car projects that decided to invest heavily in robots that look like humans. And when I say heavily, it's because they showed something nobody imagined. Get that metal robot look out of your head. What they showed is super realistic. It's all covered in a flexible synthetic skin. It's like a covering that mimics human skin. The company's idea is to make us find the robot warmer, closer, and not a cold machine. But the craziest part is that this is just the beginning. This robot isn't just a pretty shell. Its skeleton was built to imitate ours. It has a spine and muscles that copy human biology. In practice, this means it moves like a person. You see the robot bending, twisting, and it's almost like watching a human move. It doesn't have that stiff, hard movement we expect from a robot. And uh, the customization part is on another level. They said that buyers will be able to choose the body type whether they want an athletic robot or one with more body, taller, shorter. You can choose the hairstyle and in the future, even change its wardrobe. It's almost like you're creating a character, but in the real world. Its face actually is a curved screen in three dimensions, which serves to show expressions. The hands are also super advanced with many points of movement, which lets it pick up small things carefully or make gestures. Now, Let's talk about the machine's brain. To do all this, the robot needs to think very fast. The company put three very powerful artificial intelligence chips inside. Uh, artificial intelligence is basically a computer brain that can learn on its own and make decisions. Together, these three chips give the robot a power of two 250 tops. This name, TOPS, might not mean anything to you, but the acronym stands for trillions of operations per second. It's such a big number, it's hard to imagine. To give you an idea, think of the most powerful computer that exists for running games, or one of those self-driving cars. This robot's power is at that same level. Basically, the robot has a complete artificial intelligence system. This allows it to see the world with cameras, understand what it's seeing, and decide what to do at the same time. It's not just following recorded commands, it is truly processing the world around it. But what I found most curious was their strategy. The head of the company, the chief executive officer, said very directly that he doesn't think this robot is good for working in a factory, doing the same thing all day. This was a direct message to other companies that are doing exactly that, like one called Figure, which teamed up with the car manufacturer BMW, and another called 1X, which received money from OpenAI, the creator of ChatGPT, what this first company wants is something different. It wants the robot to work among people. Think of it working as a hotel receptionist or as a guide in a museum or an assistant to help you in a mall store. The older version of this robot already did this at the company's headquarters. It guided visitors and spoke English perfectly. The new version will take on this type of work for good. 
They even partnered with one of the largest steel manufacturers in China for the robot to do inspections and tests there in the real world. They want the robot on the street, working. Another technical detail I found very advanced was the battery. They are using solid state batteries. It's a very new technology, which almost no one uses in robots yet. They are lighter, safer, and last much longer than lithium batteries, like the one in your cell phone. This is very important for a robot that needs to be walking around and working all day. And to close the story of this robot, there's the ethics and security part. The chief executive officer said that the robot follows the three laws of robotics, which are very old rules created by a writer that say robots cannot harm humans. And they even added a fourth rule of their own. The robot is prohibited from sharing the owner's data with anyone. This is a very important decision. Think with me. While other companies are asking you to give full access to your home for the robot to walk around and learn everything about your life, this company is saying the opposite. They are promising a robot that is a personal companion, but that will keep your privacy secure. Of course, nobody's foolish. A lot of people are asking if we really need a robot that looks so much like a person. And the price? The company didn't say, but with three artificial intelligence chips, a new battery, and all this complexity, it will definitely be very expensive. They want to start selling to everyone at the end of 2026. We'll have to wait and see. It's a crazy idea, isn't it? A privacy-focused companion robot that you can customize like a character. If you like this first robot and are already excited to see where this will go, leave a like and leave the hype because now we're going to the totally opposite path. While this company is focused on making a beautiful and social robot, there's another Chinese company that is going in the completely opposite direction. And it's just as fascinating. Their project is called Embodied Avatar. The video they release on the internet really blew up. It starts in a normal way. A robot that looks more like a metal skeleton kicking a ball. Nothing special. But then the camera changes and shows the trick. There's a person meters away wearing a special suit full of sensors. The robot is copying exactly every movement a person makes. At the exact same time, the human operator swung a staff, did some martial arts moves, and the robot did the exact same perfectly. Then they went further. They had two people controlling two robots and the robots fought each other. The people on the internet loved the idea Joking that this is how they would work out in the future, sending the robot to the gym in their place. But the real magic, the catch, came in the next scene. The robot was no longer being controlled by anyone. The caption on the screen said, real-time learning. What they did was genius. They took all the movement data that the humans made when they were controlling the robot and used all of it to train the artificial intelligence. It was as if the robot had absorbed the human way of moving. The video then shows the robot acting alone inside an apartment, cleaning the counter, taking out the trash, fluffing a pillow, and even grabbing a drink from the fridge. And the movements weren't stiff, robotic. They were smooth, precise, clearly learned from human data. Their strategy is this. Every person who plays at controlling one of these robots is in fact teaching the artificial intelligence. They are capturing human skill and turning it into data. The idea is to teach the robot to move like us so that one day it won't need anyone controlling it anymore. It's a very big difference in ideas. The first company wants a companion robot that looks like a person and is smart enough to talk. This second company wants a machine that learns our movements to be able to do physical work anywhere, whether in your home or even in dangerous places where humans can't go. And to close out this news package, there's a robot rumor that became famous. Do you remember that viral story from last year? A video that showed a small robot that seem to be escaping from a store and taking 12 other robots with it while saying go home. It looked like a robot kidnapping. At the time, everyone thought it was fake. But now new information from China has confirmed that although the scene was staged, several parts of the story were indeed real. The main robot, it really exists. Apparently, it's an old prototype developed years ago as an intelligent companion for a woman. And this woman has been posting videos of it 
interacting with her cats and dogs for years, long before the escape video became famous. And the store that appears in the video, it also exists. Investigators discovered that the footage was filmed in the showroom, the exhibition hall of a real robotics company, and the robots that appear escaping are the models this company sells. To summarize the story, the escape scene was probably staged, a marketing stunt. But the robots were real, the place was real, and the technology they use is real. What seemed like just a joke was actually a weird way of showing how these machines are getting advanced and doing things we don't expect. Now that you've seen the full story, the social robot with skin and the avatar robot that learns by copying you, which of these futures excites you more and which one makes you more hesitant? Send your honest opinion in the comments. I want to know what you really think about all this. And the best way for me to know that you want me to keep an eye on these updates, whether it's the companion robot or the avatar that learns on its own is by seeing your support. So if this video made you think and got you excited about this future or even a little scared, leave a like and leave the hype. See you in the next one.